Hello, everybody, and good morning. Welcome to Super Citizen, the only conservative television show on prime time in the state of Maryland. You know, President Trump is amazing. You would think this phony impeachment would be the worst time of his life. But during this time of this phony impeachment, Donald Trump has been having quite an experience of success. For example, the new NAFTA, the new NAFTA passed, and this is going to create 200,000 jobs in America. It's a great improvement over the old NAFTA, which Bill Clinton and other Democrats put upon us that lost so many jobs, especially manufacturing jobs. At the same time, he negotiated the successful phase one of the China trade deal. Now, what's amazing about this is that it will create a bonanza for America's agricultural sector, but also he took a, a page out of Ronald Reagan's book. And part of the deal, and this is interesting because no other president has ever done this with a trade deal, trust but verify. We have the power to pull that deal out close it out any time we feel that the Chinese are not doing what they're supposed to do. And that would not be unusual for the Chinese. During President Trump's three years in office, the Dow has grown by 54 percent. That's unbelievable. 10,000 points. Now, his opponents and our opponents would say, well, gee, that's Wall Street. What the heck doesn't matter to the working class? The fact of the matter is that Wall Street and that 10,000 points goes to those IRAs and those 401ks and those union pensions. That's what they're based on, what happens on Wall Street. So he's doing a great job for seniors in this country. The Horowitz Report came out. And the more we read about the Horowitz Report and the more you get into it, it is extremely damaging for Shifty Shift and the Democrats. And more is going to be coming out in the future with the Durham Report. They really talk about indictments. The big thing was also passing the budget, including the defense budget. President Obama destroyed our military over his eight years in office. President Trump is working to restore it. He also received $10 billion in the budget for his fence, or our fence, on the border, and the Space Force, which a lot of people like to make fun of. But you know who already has a Space Force and is moving ahead rapidly? China and Russia. They know the importance of space as the high ground in warfare. So the president did something creative and he got it through. Once again, the liberals on the left are making fun of it. But there are some results that are interesting. A CNN poll said that support for impeachment has fallen from 50% to 44%. In real clear politics, they say that the Democrat support for impeachment has dropped 15 points at this time. USA Today's poll, President Trump now leads every Democratic presidential candidate in numbers in the positive. His campaign took in $10 million in 48 hours during the impeachment. And when the Senate gets finished with the second part, the real trial, and all of the shenanigans and all of the flaws and all of the big lies are exposed, those numbers will get even better. So President Trump is doing well. He was cheated out of his due process and justice as an American citizen, even though he's the President of the United States. But I predict it's all going to turn out well for the American people and for the President of the United States. I'm Pat McDonough. Do you have an opinion about politics? If you do, we'd love to hear from you. Today's My Turn features Kim Klasik. Kim, it's your turn on My Turn. Everyone agrees, from Republicans to Democrats, from President Barack Obama, that President Trump is her limits. I love how socialists like Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren want to talk about spreading our wealth, but they never want to spread their power. They have their lobbyist friends helping them set the tax code. That's why it's so hard to beat incumbents. They all just want this great, lavish job. So much so that they don't actually do their job. They're just focused on keeping that job. Congress has a 14% approval rating. I wouldn't even send my dog to a groomer with a 14% approval rating. Enough is enough, y'all. Let's take our country back. 
Join the club, the Super Citizen Club. Let your voice be heard across the state. For just $20 a year, you'll receive inside access to our social media network, direct delivery of our Super Citizen newsletter, and advance notice and discounts to our special events and more. Call 410-238-0025. Join the club, the Super Citizen Club, today. Can't sleep, anxiety, or aches and pains keeping you up at night? Well, a new study proves CBD works. Start sleeping, stop aching with safe, effective from B Tree CBD. New medical study proves CBD is effective treating sleeplessness, anxiety, PTSD, depression, pain, and achy muscles. Safe, effective, start sleeping, stop aching with safe, effective from B Tree CBD. Here's something you don't hear very often from the corrupt fake news, but there are a lot of women who support President Trump for a lot of reasons. Danielle Brassard is going to tell us about why there are so many women who are supporting the president. The media likes to parrot Democratic talking points. One of its favorites is that the left is the sole champion of women, that you're a traitor to your gender if you vote any other way. But do they really know what it's like to grow up a woman in America? If you're an adult woman, you know it's gotten a little confusing over the past 25 years. We watched as we were told that Bill Clinton was a champion of women's rights. We were told that Hillary Clinton was a leader for women as she ruined the lives of every woman that dared tell the truth about Bill's indiscretions. Then 20 years later, they demanded that I vote for her because I'm a woman and she's a woman. I'm sorry, but you're going to have to do a little better than that. I want a female president, I do. But I won't vote for a woman who has enabled some of the worst behaving male predators in history. Bill Clinton, Harvey Weinstein, and Jeffrey Epstein. When your husband and close personal friends are serial sexual harassers and rapists, I'm out, you've lost me. The only woman that Hillary has ever helped is Hillary. She thinks she's above us, she's one of them. Most women can't identify with damaging other women to gain power and influence. Has Trump been married three times? Yes. Has he been with countless women and maybe made passes at some that weren't as interested as he was? Sure. He's been sued like a lot of rich men have been in such cases. But not while he was working for the American people. While he's been in the Oval Office, he's been working his butt off, fighting for us men, women, minorities. Women's unemployment is at a historic low. He's appointed countless women to high positions. I was a Democrat for a long time, but I finally realized what they really think of women and how they treat them. I've seen how I've been treated when I say I voted for Trump. They can't see the irony that they say they respect women, but if you don't think exactly the way they want you to, you're about to see the bottom of a boot. Historically, the only person who's treated women worse than the left is Henry VIII. At Mr. Freedot Shop, we have smart design for smart people. Why try to explain yourself to deranged liberals? Let your apparel say exactly what's on your mind. Check out our line at MrFree.Shop. And remember, wear what you think. Wear what you think. Wear what you think. What you think. One of the most amazing things that this president has accomplished is the appointment of judges. What were you doing this week? What were you doing the week that the Democrats were impeaching our president? What were you doing? Did you watch Nancy Pelosi and Adam Schiff and Jerry Nadler and all their nonsense and all their spewing of hatred towards our president? I don't, I don't hate anybody. I don't have a great Catholic house. Well, I'll tell you one thing the president was doing. While they were doing that, and while they were wasting taxpayers' money, uh, President Donald Trump confirmed 13 more federal judges. 13 more. All in all, Trump has appointed 187 conservative federal judges. These are young, brilliant, deeply committed to constitutional law, 
judges. And the key word in that sentence was young. This is a lifetime appointment that's going to last far, far longer than President Trump's term. Trump also flipped three circuit courts to majority GOP appointed judges, including the U.S. Court of Appeals and the Second Circuit in New York. All in all, Trump has appointed two Supreme Court justices, and by comparison, Obama appointed only two Supreme Court judges and 55 judges uh, to the circuit courts during his eight-year term. All in all, Donald J. Trump has appointed 25% of every federal judge in the United States today. Join the club, the Super Citizen Club. Let your voice be heard across the state. For just $20 a year, you'll receive inside access to our social media network, direct delivery of our Super Citizen newsletter, and advance notice and discounts to our special events and more. Call 410-238-0025. Join the club. The Super Citizen Club today. And now we do our ABCs with the dancing socialist A O C. <laughs> A B C D E F G. I am told this is a garbage disposal. I've never seen a garbage disposal. It is terrifying. I don't know what to use. It for. This glass of water would win with a D next to its name. <laughs> Literally, the pits. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? I we am told ABC this is a garbage disposal. And now you've done your ABCs with the Dancing Socialist, A-O-C. Welcome to the roundtable, and uh, we're going to start off talking about the presidential candidates. USA Today's latest poll indicates that President Trump is now in the lead with all of the presidential candidates. And they had a debate. The first debate attracted 20 million people. Right. The second debate attracted 10 million people. The third debate, they think, attacked, attracted 5 million. <laughs> 10 people. And there's another one, in, one more in January before we get to the Iowa caucuses. So we'll be, so, down, we'll be down to a couple folks in Dundalk, and that'll be it. Right. So, Frank, I'm going to start off asking yep. you your thoughts on the debates or the presidential candidates. It's absolute snore fest. It's a snore fest. I, no, Donald Trump has won every debate so far. <laughs> <laughs> every one. Yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. The polls are indicating that, yes. right? Yes. Now the Senate, uh, Danielle, the senators in the debate, uh, the presidential candidates have to return to the Senate after January yeah. for the trial in the Senate. They have to be there, and so they're uh, not on the campaign trail. So they're not on the campaign trail. Right. It's not going to make a difference anyway. Nobody's listening to them or watching them. So they might as well make them go to work. Well, some interesting things have happened, though. Elizabeth Warren was on, we talked about this on the show. We talked about the big mo, which is the big momentum. Okay. The little mo, which is the little momentum. The no mo, <laughs> and the back mo. Now, right. uh, for example, for a while there, uh, Biden was back mo. Okay. Elizabeth Warren had big mo. All right. Now she's low mo. Uh, little Petey now has Big Mo. Okay. And, is there uh, such a thing as Momo? That's Momo. Momo. Momo works with money. <laughs> and, uh, they're so in the dangerous. collection business. This is Him and Momo. Dangerous. I think Momo <laughs> can get more votes than anybody else. <laughs> well, he has enough money. You know who might be Mobo is Klobuchar. Is Momo? Really? Yeah, she might sneak up on you because set, you're not noticing her? Yes. She is getting a really strong organization putting together in Iowa. Is and, she? And, yeah, and uh, Elizabeth Warren had a strong organization, but now she is drawing off of her. Elizabeth Warren is losing popularity in Iowa. what happens when they let her talk. The Medicare did her in, I think. Oh, Medicare She's for All? Yes, Medicare for yeah. All. She's trying to recant. She's trying to backpedal. She says she wants to rethink her original statement on Medicare. Well, she's very against big drunk, drug, excuse me, she's very against big drug companies, and that's why I think that the... Um, the debate is replacing Ambien as the, the favorite sleep aid for the country. Well, 
I heard a lot of uh, Spartacus. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Although Booker. he's not he's on the out. stage, is still working. He's still in there. He was on. Uh, who was that show? I don't know what that show was on Sunday. It's opposite of us. Oh, face. So the, I don't uh, watch. No, we don't watch. Is it no, Deface face the nation? I'm not sure. Yeah. Deface the nation. Yeah. So uh, he was on there uh, talking about his campaign is picking up in endorsements. Oh yeah. A lot of Kamala's people are yes. now going to him and that sort of thing. But Joe Biden still is in the lead. Joe Biden. Could I say something about Spartacus before we move on? Yeah, sure. Now, I'm not for, um, you know, uh, medical marijuana being dispensed to, to the public. But in his case, it might relieve the pressure behind his eyes because he's uh, always so uh, excited. Uh, uh, he's always uh, at, at 11, you know. Yes, he, he never is. comes down. He's always talking to you when his eyes are yes, bulging. His eyes are scary. He, they are. They're very scary. I could not imagine him doing the State of the Union address. <laughs> I, I don't know. Now, there's a quick question. If you opened your closet, which one of the presidential candidates would scare you the most? Buttigieg. If he's hiding in your closet, that's a, problem. a serious problem. He might be wearing your this clothes. This is such or, a dangerous segment. That's not. This is so, if you know me, you know why. You wouldn't be frightened if <laughs> you very, found Buttigieg in your closet? Yes. Uh, the one the, who would scare me uh, <laughs> wouldn't be Bernie, because I could trust Bernie. But, uh, Can you imagine listening to that voice for four years? Would yeah. you kill yourself? Seriously, <laughs> listen to that all the time. Yeah, well, his look, I his believe look, his that wife after to about a year, she's deaf. She's got to yeah. be deaf. By Putin her. would say, "I can't think it anymore. We're going to bomb. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the bomb. I can't I think." I can't believe this guy. <laughs> so anyway, the presidential candidates, uh, February, I believe, is the uh, first Iowa caucuses. And then right after that, I don't know how many days it is, but New Hampshire. So now there are no longer any minorities except for this guy, Yang. Right. He's an Asian American. Now, if he was in my closet, I'd let him stay there. But anyway. He's very neat. He, yeah, he's a very neat guy. So anyway, uh, there are no minorities anymore. Kamala's gone. Right. Spartacus is gone. Right. And they're starting to complain that the Democrat National Committee has set this up so that they have been discriminated against. They discriminated against themselves. That's what I would well, say. Because they eliminated themselves. It, the Democrats eliminated the minorities. Although Buttigieg is still technically a minority. Well, he said that He's and he got American, in trouble. The black community did not like that. When he said being gay, he has felt yes, some he of did the strain of discrimination, which yes. too is true to that an extent. True. But the black community does not want that sacred era of discrimination, bias, and slavery interfered with or compared to anything. It is theirs and theirs alone. Well, right. The, now, the black community is, is actually angry at Buttigieg because of his police force that he had no, problems that's exactly with. Right. That's You're why right. blacks You're are right. turned against Buttigieg. You are, you are so because right. Because there were cops that, that right. took yeah, force problem. against. And now, also, if they ever take a look at Buttigieg, they will start to. Uh, his uh, management of his city, of South Bend, it's kind of like compared to Baltimore City. The crime and drugs are out of control. Yeah, he hasn't yeah. done a the great job. The police can't yeah. stand him. Right. The black community's not real happy with no. him. No, not at all. And the education system is a real mess. So when we start getting into, well, if you can't manage your city, how are you going to manage yeah, the country? That's exactly right. He's like now, the de Blasio of South Bend. <laughs> right? Now, does this... He's only half the size. Does though. this okay. mean that Hillary's coming back? Oh, God. It's so sad. I keep saying I she's coming back. I feel sorry for her. She doesn't know. Nobody's telling her the truth. Nobody's telling her you lost because Nobody they likes didn't you. want you. <laughs> I don't think Hillary's coming back. I, one of my beliefs is that her health is not that good. But I will say this: there is a very good chance of an open convention. And then and Hillary if there's would an come open back. convention, anything can happen. But the truth of the matter is, uh, the Democrat Party has become radical in a very short period of time. This social base is new, and the fact of the matter also is that. When Hillary was running for president three short years ago, none of these issues that are on the current agenda, Medicare Medicaid for all, for illegals, free uh, Medicare, right. all of that stuff, uh, free education, right. none of that was on Hillary's agenda. Now and none of it was in the platform at the right. convention. That's right. So this is three short years. Harry Truman and John F. Kennedy would never, ever get no. into the convention. And I'm beginning to think even Bill Clinton. I was thinking Obama wouldn't even get into the convention. No, Obama's too conservative. He's a little point. more conservative than some Especially of these illegal folks. illegal aliens. He was yes. yeah, yeah, he did not take any of these radical positions. He did not. Okay, now, tell me what you think is going to happen with the next election as far as the Democrats are concerned because of the impeachment. 
Are they going to take a it's hit? It's going to hurt them. Oh, yeah. Oh, Absolutely. already. The polls indicate clearly. And then what's going to happen on top of that is the trial. The trial will expose the truth to the American people. Watch how many people watch the trial compared to what watched the impeachment. Uh, and it'll be well done with Lindsey Graham and, and, and uh, McConnell. It'll be well done. And things will be brought out that were never brought out and suppressed in the uh, impeachment. So it'll be a plus. And then you've got, of course, the Durham report, the investigation. Right. It said today, did you know what it said today in the news? The Wall Street Journal? They are subpoena out uh, Brennan. Oh, that's good news. All of his papers. That all of his is conversations. good time. news. It's about time. Everything. It's about time. And they are handing out indictments on Kleindice, that guy yeah. Kleindice, and, and the, and the low-level attorney. Do you think right. anyone's going to jail over I all this? I think a lot of people are going to I jail. I think Ted's got a role, and they have, to, they have to protect Obama. So somebody's got to go down. I don't know who it's going to be. They've all been protected up till now. But somebody's going to have to do a long pr prison sentence. I think do you think, as I do, that this all started in the Oval Office? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Susan Rice. I don't know if, if he hatched it, but they, they put it up to him and said, how do you feel about this? Susan and Rice was the anointed one to handle it. Because Susan Rice Why do you say handled, that? well, she was the National Security Advisor. Okay? And she handled all of the CIA, all the Defense Department. And she was the connection to pipeline around... Uh, Lynch. And she also Attorney wrote General. that email to herself to protect herself right before. Yeah, I think Susan January Rice 20th. is going to definitely be, uh, right. she she's yeah. going to be uh, brought in for questioning. Uh, it's going to is the highest level that people will go to jail. What's the highest level? I think it'll go beyond Obama to Oprah. <laughs> no, no one's putting Oprah in jail. The yeah. Supreme Leader. No, Oprah will not go to jail. Yeah, That's it, my prediction. America, given the choice of putting Oprah yeah, in jail yeah. or, or uh, Michelle Obama, <laughs> they'll take Michelle Obama every day. I think you're right yeah. about that. I think it's going to get... It's not as likable. Now, what about Brennan? Do well, you think Brennan, Brennan is looking Brennan at made time? the comment Brennan that everything needs to be reported to the higher-ups. <laughs> like a Nazi, like, you know, it's a following orders type thing. Okay. So who's higher up than the guy who's in charge? But I don't know right. if he was the CIA or the whole... Peter Strzok said the boss in the Oval Office wants to know everything we're doing. So that was Michelle. It could be Susan Rice. <laughs> it could be Michelle. It could be Barack. I think this stuff is going to, whoever the Democrats nominate, first of all, this was a weak, bipartisan articles impeachment. of impeachment. There was no law broken. Yes, I know, but do you know what they did? They have set the groundwork for impeaching Anyone, Biden, right. Biden if he's elected. Yeah, if because he surely that, that he doesn't. obstructed justice when he said, fire the prosecutor or you're not getting the billion dollars. Yeah, that was a quid pro that, quo. That's quid pro quo. And also the fact that uh, they're impeaching a president on policy disagreements. Right. That's right. a very bad precedent for the future. The founders never wanted that to so happen. So any president in the, in the future, if you have a Democrat, if you have, a Republican, exactly right. oh, sorry, if you have a Democratic president and you, you have a Republican House, right. they'll just impeach him. Yes, that's, they'll just find that's a way. exactly. And I think we and should probably do that. We should. Well, it's their I think the we have to make a statement the same way the uh, Democrats did. Well, they've lost a lot of points. They've lost a lot of credibility. So far, when the trial comes in, they're going to lose more. When the Durham reports come out, they're going to lose more. And whoever they nominate at that open convention or one of these people that are on the stage now getting next to this president, and this president isn't finished with his accomplishments. You talk about the judges. Right. Maybe 20 more. Could Easily. There you know could be like a, a Supreme Court in justice. A week. What I like about this, though, is that have you, have you noticed that the, the pattern that Trump has is that when they're impeaching him and they're doing all this stuff to make him look bad, he's in the office getting stuff done. Yes. It's like, oh, look at this mess. Well, he's over here, you know, appointing judges, yeah. getting things done, passing laws. Okay, That's well, how he works. Said, he's like an old man with a taser light with a cat. Yeah. And, and they all man. follow it. They all follow it. And they never learn. They never no. learn. The fact of the matter is that Bill Clinton tried to get some things done, and he tried to use that approach about he working, but he didn't get anything done. This guy, well, I mean, we, we, we named six or seven accomplishments, plus he raised $10 million in 48 hours. That election. was amazing. What an amazing feat. Mm -hmm. That I, was a record. I, I used to have, uh, my, my mother used to have uh, parrots 
and a, a little dog. And the parrot learned to imitate the doorbell. And so, the, <laughs> and then every time the dog heard the doorbell, he'd run and bark at the door. Yeah. So, but he didn't know it was the parrot. The parrot so all land. day long, the parrot would imitate the doorbell, mm. and the dog would just run back and forth the door all day long. Well, is the media and the press? They're yeah. out. That Trump is punking them yeah. all day long. No, they don't get it, and they don't want to get it. They're part of the same corrupt mob that's out to get this president, and they're out to get the people of America. I'm waiting for the day when one of these politicians, including our president, says they're trying to suppress 63 million votes. The Democrats always talk about suppressing. This is another thing you're seeing with the independents. Trump is getting up in numbers with the independents and uh, the moderates because they want to unelect or elect the president. They don't want the Democrats in the House. They don't want AOC to make that decision. And also the fact that they're not getting anything done, although they got the budget. Why did they get the budget? Why did they get the new NAFTA? Why did he get his $2 billion for the wall? Why did he get the Space Force? Because they were impeaching him and they had to balance it out. Once again, I want to thank Danielle Brassard and also Frank Marchant for being with us today and sharing some great information that we need to know about. And that is what Super Citizen TV is all about. You're going to hear things on this television show you don't hear anywhere else. It's a totally different viewpoint. And quite interestingly, a lot of it is about the truth, right? So that's what you need to hear. And you need to tune in every other week at uh, this time for Super Citizen Television because we are the only conservative television show on prime time in the state of Maryland. And remember what I said every other week. We need to be on every week. Maybe we need to be on for a full hour. Range of, the range of liberal media, anti-media, anti-conservative media that is against us, the array of all of that that's out there, we are just very small compared to that. But at least we are there. And you can put us on every week, and maybe you can increase us to an hour. We need your support. We need your financial support. I'm not going to be shy about it. We need your financial help to keep us on the air. As you see, every week or every other week, we bring in other people, people that are conservative talents, conservative leaders, conservative uh, viewpoints, voices. You don't see that anywhere else. You're only going to see it here. So we need your financial help. Now, here's how you can do that. First of all, you can go to our website, which is supercitizenusa.com. And there's a PayPal system on there. You can contribute. If you contribute $20, you can become a member of Super Citizen and receive all the discounts and other things that we have. Now, everybody doesn't have a computer. We understand that. So uh, what we'd like to do is, if you want to find out how you can join and how you can support us, call my office at that phone number you've seen throughout the show, 410-238-0025.